In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically reset the key of the song rather to its default using your keyboard with just a single press of a button. Recently, I got a comment from one of my audience asking me for a mapping that will rather reset the key of the song to its default. Thank you my friend for the question, it gave me an idea which I had never thought of that made me excited and curious to discover what you saw before the rest of us. And I promise to make a tutorial on it. That's why I'm here today to fulfill just that. And today's shout out goes to you my friend. Others let me know which country you are watching from so that the shout out goes to you in the next video. I'm DJ Zako as always, if this is your first time here don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the future videos. Without wasting much time let's jump right in. But before we see the mapping in action there are two scenarios which these mappings will apply. After spending hours at night trying to configure the script and eventually it worked, and I noticed that for you to use the mapping effectively without any inconvenience, you need to have three keys. One for gradually resetting the key of the song to its default if it is moved by one semitone or whatever higher, and the one that does the opposite if the key of the song is lowered. Then the one which will stop the action because the moment you press any of these keys, that action is launched once and it will remain running to make sure that the key of the song is always gradually reset to its default if there is any slight movement. And that means if the action that resets the key of the song when it is moved higher is the one running and the key of the song is slightly moved lower than its default, the running action will continue to push the key to that very direction which is the opposite of what you wanted. And of course the sound of the song will be terrible because it will affect the key of the song over time without making sure that the desired goal is achieved and of course you cannot run those two opposite actions at the same time. That's why you need a specific key that will stop the running action before you launch the other one. And additionally, as this is all about key if you are mixing harmonically clockwise or anticlockwise in a Camelot wheel, which you necessarily don't need as you can do just that by clicking on this arrow to face up or down to mix clockwise or anticlockwise. This is when you will just launch one action using one of the keys you mapped following the direction you are mixing your tracks. Or else you need to have all the three keys ready. So let's see the mapping. Here is the mapping for gradually resetting the key to its default if it's moved a little bit higher. Here in the action box type repeat underscore start, add space, in a single quotation type an action key reset, add space then specify time by milliseconds, add space then put a symbol of n, add space then type parameter underscore equal, add space, in a single quotation type the target key, add space. Then set the default Q value 0. Add space then put a question mark. Add space. Then type repeat underscore stop. Add space. In a single quotation type an action. Key reset. Add space then put colon. Add space. Then type key underscore move. Then add value which the key will be moved, negative 0.01. You can put any value you want, but for my case I'm using the exact value I was asked for to demonstrate this. But this really doesn't affect the key movement too much. What affects the key movement a lot is the time you specify here. This affects the key movement and also the time virtual DJ is going to take before checking whether the key is slightly moved. Now we need a second key. For gradually resetting a key to its default if it is moved a little bit lower than its default. The script is the same, you only need to replace minus with a plus. Then we need another key for stopping any of these actions. In the action box type repeat underscore stop, add space. In a single quotation type an action key reset. When you are done save it and close this. Now let's check whether our key is working. Let's move a key a little bit higher by one semitone and launch an action that will reset it and pay attention to the key area. As you can see after the time we specify the key has been reset to its default. Now with this action running let's lower the key and see what happens. As you can see the key is gradually moving in that very direction because the action which is running is supposed to push the key to that direction. Now let's stop this action and check the other key also. Let's lower a little bit by one semitone and launch an action that will reset it and pay attention to the key area. As you can see after the time we specify the key has been reset to its default. 
Now, whenever you notice unnecessary movement of the key, just stop the running action using the key you mapped and launch the one which will correct it. Or whenever you see the slight movement of the key, you can always launch action that resets it. Then when the key is reset, you stop it to avoid unnecessary adjustments of the key. If you found value in this video, give it a like, comment, and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Till next time, keep practicing.